Hey everybody, Josh Sigurdsson of World Alternative Media here, and we're joined by Tim Pachot, the Liberty Advisor, Certified Financial Planner, and as we've recently gone into, SVP has collapsed, and we're seeing a potential contagion that could affect a lot of other major banks in the next even few days. I mean, going into Monday, you don't really want this kind of news right before the markets open. You need some kind of clarification, right? Well, the Fed has now released a statement, and we're going to go into that a little bit today because it's a bit to unpack, and you know, a lot of people are concerned about their money in their bank, and you should be because honestly, we're looking at just the beginning of something much bigger that we could see happening to a lot of the major banks um, in the near future. And this article by CNBC says, U.S. government steps in and says people with funds deposited at SVB will be able to access their money. And the key points from this article say regulators approved plans Sunday to backstop both depositors and financial institutions associated with Silicon Valley Bank. Officials will unwind both SVB and Signature Bank, ensuring that depositors will have full access to their funds on Monday. The Federal Reserve stepped in with a separate facility that will provide loans up to one year for institutions impacted by the bank failures. And, it, and another point here, and I quote, Today we are taking decisive actions to protect the U.S. economy by strengthening public confidence in our banking system, leading uh, regulators said in a joint statement. Well, they'll have to do a little bit better than that uh, because we're looking at something that clearly will snowball. Um, before we get into this and much more, I urge people to check those links below. Check out the link for thelibertyadvisor.com. And of course, we have a bit.ly link in the description where you can sign up for a call with Tim Pachot, who is, again, a certified financial planner. And if you're worried about the current situation and worried about your ability to keep your money safe, uh, it's a good time to go and, and fill out that form and sign up for a call if you are in the United States. Also check out the link for heavensharvest.com for long-term storable foods that are non-GMO, heirloom seeds, uh, water filtration and storage, and books on how to get started. Use code WAM, W-A-M, and you could get free shipping on much of those products. And even if you don't qualify for it, I still urge you to use code WAM because it helps keep you alive and us alive at the same time. And this is one of the number one ways people should be getting prepared right now, not just financially, but having actual sustenance at the ready for when the supply chain collapses. Experts say you need at least three months of storable foods to survive a supply chain collapse. So this is your opportunity to get on that now and, and keep yourself and your family safe. Anyways, that's all linked in the description. That's heavensharvest.com. Uh, let's get into the this, Tim. So can you update us on what's going on with SVP? A lot of people are talking about potential rollout of bailouts in the near future. I know the FDIC last year, um, and we reported on it at the time, said that they expect there to be things like bail-ins in the next year, potentially, um, of major banks. And that means they're just stealing your money out of your account to pay for what the for the mistakes that they've made. So with this new Fed statement, what are they doing? Is it going to actually be a positive move? or is it going to um, just snowball into something worse? What do you think? Well, I'm a little upset we didn't get that video out that was going to predict what the statement was going to say because what I what we were talking about last night at dinner and we were yeah. talking about two hours ago and uh, we're like, let's just wait till they come out with the statement. I'm like, ah, I know it might actually be good to you know get ahead of it and like, speculate. And it's exa and what the exact thing I thought they're going to do is exactly what they're going to do. So we, we've talked a lot recently about interest rate risk. So when the price of when interest rates go up, the underlying values of bonds go down. So if you used to be able to get, you know, loans at like 0.3%. So a lot of what SVB was doing is during, you know, the, you know, the death throes of 2020, March 2020, they were getting government bonds, like 10 year bonds at point, they're paying out 0.3%. Today, they pay out close to 5% or maybe even a little over five. So those Bonds have absolutely gotten, you know, probably down about 50%, just completely shellacked. And so what my guess is what they were going to do, and actually what they are doing, is now they're allowing other banks to basically take that collateral. So let's say you had, they bought a million dollar bond and now it's worth 500000 They're able to pledge that million dollar bond as collateral and get, that's really only worth 500000 and now get a million dollars back. And so you and I can never do that. I mean, the average person can never do that. And so they have... Uh, you know, th their estimates that there's upwards of $600 billion of losses uh, in in those treasury bonds that banks are holding on to. So banks 
are able to then get back the full value of the collateral. They don't have to mark down the value at all, which is complete crap. So when they say that, oh, it's not a bailout, well, yeah, it is a bailout. If you bought something that was worth $100 and now it's worth 50, and you can and then you can then get $100 back for it because you know the treasury and the Fed have some sort of, and FDIC have some sort of magic program to do this, yeah, that's a bailout. And then who is are the ones who absorb the losses on the balance sheet? Oh, it's the taxpayers, obviously. So since these will be sitting in some special vehicle at the either Treasury or Fed, obviously it's going to come back to the taxpayers. And what also makes me mad about this is that I had a question that got to Janet Yellen about this seven years ago when she was the Fed chair talking about when rates go up, your underlying bond portfolio is going to get decimated. And she laughed at my question and said that it was impossible. Well, looks like it's not impossible now. So well, we everything that Janet Yellen says ends up, the opposite ends up happening. It's kind of like Jim Cramer, Cramer really. Yeah. yeah, and Jim Cramer who promoted uh, SVB like what, a week and a half ago? And it was funny because we were talking about, um, you know, the FDIC video from back, I believe it was November, October, November. November. Um, yeah, and and they in this meeting basically said we need to spread misinformation online. Well, they said the truth online to stop misinformation, but they're in that same sentence they're saying, we're going to do this stuff, but if people talk about it, it's going to be bad. But it was interesting Interesting in that statement, they said, um, and you know, they could see banks closing on a Friday. What happened? Be SVB went down on a Friday, <laughs> and ideally we're seeing on Friday. ideally yeah. on yeah. a Friday. Yeah, well, then they have the weekend to try and make up for it, which is exactly what just happened. And on top of that, again, the one thing that they haven't done quite yet in all this, they're doing this bailout. What, what they're doing, what they what they talked about was a bail-in regime. Again, that would just take your money. It's totally criminal. These banks are totally criminal, and. This is coming to a place near you soon. It's not to scare anybody. It's it's to get people to take precautions and be prepared because, again, this isn't just one off thing. There's two banks now that are going down and we're, uh, there's technically three if you t uh, in include Six Silvergate. Three. Yeah. And uh, so there's all this stuff happening. And now, you know what the potential of them bringing down interest rates at the same time, which would be great for crypto, uh, but not very good for the stock market. And um, I'm, I'm just, I'm not sure what's going to happen next with this, but Tim, what do you think? Where, where do you think this contagion is going to lead next? Well, I mean, this is a pretty big band-aid that they are putting on the system because if you're able to get, so what they're doing is they're getting a year loan. The banks can get up to a year loan with their basically worthless collateral, get real money back. Yeah. And a lot of people, and, and yeah, SVB, I mean, like SBF, SVB, all these freaking <laughs> yeah. initials. But uh, what, they were doing some risky stuff, but really a lot of things blew up is because they were buying government bonds, which are always you know deemed to be you know safest and secure yeah. asset you know on earth. And I have talked for many years, over a decade, talking about how much risk is inherent in those bonds, especially when you have 0% rates and they start rising, you're going to lose money. You have a 10-year million dollar, te technically it's 10-year duration bond, a 10-year duration bond, rates go up 1% and you're million bucks, now you've got 900,000. Rates go up 2%, now you got about 780. Yeah. You've got a 30-year bond, rates go up 1%, your million bucks is now about 700,000. So you can, and guess who's sitting on the most amount of bonds? The Federal Reserve. And so the Federal Reserve used to give back 6% of all the interest. Uh, well, they, well, they give back 94% of all the profit to the treasury. And guess what? There is no profit now. Now they have massive amounts of losses. And this is the exact question that I asked Janet Yellen seven years ago. And so it's just so frustrating that, you know, a guy in his 20s at the time could see what was gonna, coming. But where this, you know, really impacts viewers, especially people who are close to retirement, is that a lot of retirees have you know about half their savings into bonds. And so not only are you getting paid basically nothing in terms of a coupon interest payment to hold on to these bonds, but when rates go up because of inflation, then your underlying principal, if you need to sell, uh, you know, those assets, they're going to be at a fire sale. So you and I, we don't get to go, uh, you know, get to sell those bonds and get 100% of the value back. But you know, if you're one of the big banks, you get to, you know, speculate on this stuff. And then well, and, and with with inflation, people are just losing money on this. It's not even an, an investment. Yeah, and some of the big banks are not even buying treasuries. They're just parking the money uh, at the Fed every night and then getting an annualized interest rate of about you know, about 4.75%, which would have been the smarter thing for uh, some of these banks to do. So I mean, like JP Morgan, obviously, you know, a lot of the big mega banks, this is what they're doing. But yeah, we just wanted to give a quick update on the situation. But for anyone that thinks that this is just contained and now, you know, this will all just blow over. No, this is just the very beginning. Now, this is a very big band-aid of what they're doing. And I don't think people really understand the magnitude of exactly what they're doing. 
doing. But you know, it is just another con job. I mean, your pension fund that's invested in the treasuries or invested in the corporate bonds that got absolutely hammered last year, you know, your treasury is not getting a bailout, your pension is not getting a bailout from any of this. But don't worry, you know, the richest, you know, leftist tech startup people on earth, you know, they're getting a bailout. So, you know, it's just more of the same. And I'm sure they'll, you know, and, and it's funny because I was trying to devise them, like what sort of scheme would they come up with? And, that, and then I came up with yeah. the exact scheme uh, because, you know, when you study these people long enough, you know, you can, you know, always be one step ahead. And so what people need to do right now, especially if you're close to retirement or in retirement, is you really need to take a look at your portfolios because, there is massive amounts of interest rate risk in those portfolios. And, you know, for anyone that thinks, and it doesn't matter who gets in as president, uh, I mean, on some things it does, but in terms of, you know, the overall financial conditions, there's going to be a BRICS currency. It's probably going to be backed by commodities. We're seeing every day major countries. I think you just mentioned it was yeah. India. Yeah, India and Sri Lanka are moving towards de dollarization and working with the yuan. I mean, it, it, this is moving in that direction every single day. And uh, remember, a Silicon Valley bank is a big bank. It is a really big bank for Something like this to happen, largest or something. Yeah, it's like it was. A, yeah, I think it was like the sixteenth. And but keep in mind that we're going to start seeing this move into bigger and bigger banks. It's just like we always see, you know, a lot of emerging economies uh, shudder. We see things like the Turkish lira go before, like say the U.S. dollar, or the obviously uh, the pound or the the euro. Um, and and I want to point out that these major banks are doing fractional reserve lending. A lot of them, and these are these guys do not deserve to be saved. Individuals do, but. The the banks don't. These banks are printing money out of thin air in many cases, and then they're loaning the debt basically on your shoulders, and you end up paying for it when you go to the store, when you have to go buy groceries. And at the same time, these evil psychopaths are blowing up factories and substations and, and pipelines and destroying the supply chain, which just exacerbates that because at the end of the day, what they want is for you to be dependent on them. They want people on their knees begging for help after the problem they create in the first place. They want them to be the solution. It's called problem, reaction, solution, repeat the Hegelian dialectic. And we need as individuals to break free from that system as much as we humanly can, because this is just the beginning. We've been talking about this for many years, and now we're starting to see all those cracks form. And not just that, the, the walls are separating apart, the earthquake's happening, and we need to do something about this as individuals. So again, you can check the link for um, the libertyadvisor.com in the description below. You could also just go to the bit.ly link and sign up for a free initial consultation, a free portfolio review with Tim, uh, Tim over on that site. All you have to do is fill out that form, schedule a time if you are in the United States. And, you know, there's so many ways that people need to get prepared, and we will update you with more on this soon. I wanted to keep this video short today. But again, it all comes down on you as individuals. Don't wait for a bank or the government or any politician to come and save you because they won't. They'll come in with their solution, which makes you less free. And it'll just keep, um, it'll just keep getting more and more exacerbated until at the end of the day, you have absolutely nothing. You own nothing and you're happy as Klaus Schwab says, uh, more like enslaved. So don't allow that to happen. Go prepare. We have heavensharvest.com for long-term storable foods that are non-GMO, heirloom seeds, water filtration storage, books on how to get started. Use code WAM, W-A-M. You have solutions right there. We have whamsurvival.com for long-term storable foods uh, as well. It, it, there's a lot of solutions. Uh, you save a bunch of money if you go through us on there. And, you know, as far as privacy goes, because they're tracking and tracing you everywhere to later utilize in their social credit, carbon credit scores, which are basing on the Chinese order, which we are moving into and it's all by design. I urge people to check out that link for clear phone where you have your own private keys on your phone. You aren't tracked and traced. You can get all the normal apps you usually get, but the, all the information that you do on a day-to-day -day basis isn't sent to the Chinese government. Um, you know, it, you can get them de-googled with Linux and uh, they're, they're faster than Androids and they have full national coverage. So check that out in the description. And finally, as far as health goes, because in the future it, it will be stuck eating mealworms and cricket paste. So I think it's best that individuals prepare not just with the food and all that kind of stuff, but also with their health, because it'll be hard to get these things in the future. So again, I urge people to check out rncstore.com, Richardson Nutritional Center, your source for Laetrile online, made famous by G. Edward Griffin's book, World Without Cancer, get your apricot seeds, Laetrile, amygdalin, and vitamin B17 there. And of course, we have the late great Dr. Zelenko's vitamins and supplements, Z-Stack, Z-Stack Kids, Z-Detox, and Z-Flu. You save a bunch of money if you go through us and get free shipping. So check those links. We have solutions. At, at, this, at the end of the day, it's not about complaining. It's about noting what's really happening and, and, and being truthful, but also 
being prepared and actually doing something about it. So we're not just screaming at a computer screen. We're actually doing something about it. And it starts with you. So check those links. And again, if you want to become a client of Tim's, that link's in that description. We've been bang on and he's been bang on about this for a very long time. And we're watching the tide start to move in that direction. And we need to do whatever we can to mitigate ourselves financially, health wise, as far as, you know, just basic preparedness so that we're not dependent on the great reset system. Um, there's going to be a lot of other banks that are going to be going down in the near future, and it's not going to be pretty, but there are ways to mitigate this crisis. Uh, again, you could find us on Telegram, World Alternative Media, Telegram Channel, World Alternative Media Announcements. You could find his Telegram channel, The Liberty Advisor. Uh, you could join our newsletter, www.imband.com. If you want to help support us, go get funding.com, Patreon, subscribe star. We have a Bitcoin address, and we have a Cointree link with a bunch of different cryptocurrencies, including privacy coins. And by the way, crypto is going up pretty fast right now um, with these recent announcements and especially if interest rates go down whoa it's gonna it's gonna be crazy so uh, we have a lot to both be concerned about and look forward to if we're debanked as much as humanly possible because if you debank yourself you remove a lot of the control that they have over top over you um, so anyway we have a bunch of options in the description check that out we're on band off video bitch you odyssey rumble and bright on at world alternative media we're on uh, dollar, vigilante. dollar vigilante yeah we're on vigilante.tv uh, hive and steam it at, at Josh Sigurdsson we're on the bad guys TikTok and Instagram world alternative media Twitter and getter at, at world alt media and then all the major podcast platforms, which I hope you go um, and follow on if you want to just listen on your way to work. Uh, Podbean, uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, etc. Hit that like button, share on social media, hit the notification bell if you have not yet already and hit subscribe. Uh, again, live by example, live freely, my friends. Until next time, this is Josh Sigurdsson and Tim Pachote signing out from World Alternative Media. Find the truth, be the change.